Ich glaube, Best of Three, ne? Ich glaube, Best of Three. Das ist der Best of Three. Only Chop. Brexit. Ich war sehr glücklich, wenn ich hörte, dass ich auf dem Stream spiele. Also, vielleicht nicht mit viel Konfidenz. Aber wir sind definitiv der Favorit-Player, according to Seeding und everything. Aber wir sehen. Brexit. Er hat mir ein bisschen Ruhm in den letzten Monaten. Er hat versucht, ein bisschen mehr zu machen. Er hat wirklich seine eigene Lokal. Ja, ich verstehe. Wei, auf der anderen Hand, auch nach seiner 2-4-Appearance, war er jeden Tag praktisch. I feel like last month he was at every possible Smash Bros. He could attend in Berlin and um, as we know, he's a very aggressive player. He's always trying to get in, and, which is one of Peach's strengths, keeping other people out. So um, it's going to be a very wild slugfest. I think that's a good game plan in general against Mario because you know, everything he does is safe and shit. So if you can just whiff punish him, like Peach is very good at, then that's great. But um, yeah, with Mario's speed and um, also the fact that Peach kind of wants to float and uh, Mario can just up smash if he's not careful, um, it's definitely a very interesting matchup. Looking very even so far. Um, but Brexit at the moment is keeping stage control and also being able to pull turnips when he's knocking well off stage, so which is a big plus. But here's the other match I just talked about. Um, catching catching the float. Seems like Brexit is trying to stay pretty grounded uh, most of the time. But there's only so much you can do as a peach. So <laughs> That's true. I mean ground floats are like basically being grounded, but And that also enables Peach to play very uncommittal, which is very important against Mario, because Mario is also very good at whiff punishing as well, especially if he has advantage state on a small battlefield, he can whip out some very great combos. Um, even though Brexit looked very good in the first dog, well, right now is taking the advantage and keeping him corner pressure. Tech chasing him everywhere, so basically um, Mario's Corner pressure is mostly up smash and back air, but the pitch problem is because she's floaty, she can't really jump around uh, Mario as well, yeah. so he has to fight his way back on the stage. And even if you like air dodge one of those moves, then you're just gonna eat the next move because <laughs> Mario doesn't have air legs, basically. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So well, with the second stock, looking like he's getting some extra credit this time around. Last time uh, Brexit was able to close out the first stock of well pretty fast. Um, but right now they are scrapping again. And actually it doesn't look too bad and just as I say that well gets in awesome. the yeah. And now he's making Peach approach kind of, which is in my opinion a nice a nice game plan if you're ahead because Peach um, has troubles approaching. She can corner someone really well but um, Mario is quite fast in the air as well, <laughs> so he might get around Peach with four hits. Very fast. Especially if you know, Peach uh, approaches and doesn't just try to wall out the opponent, how are you going to do that? With down air is one option, because that's very good against shit usually, but yeah, now you're up smash. Um, you have to be very careful, or you're just going to die while punching. Yeah. So Peach, Peach was able to hit the crown on Mario. <laughs> Looks a little bit like a family feud between the two. <laughs> uh, it seems like the rage messed up the combo a bit. Yeah, that might be the case. A nice parry on Rex's side here, but just getting the bear to punish. And now being in the corner again against Mario. <laughs> Oh, the cape fake from yeah, uh, the, like, uh, the very free ledge from that Mario can do. Um, other characters have to work for it a bit. Although, you know, if you practice it, it's, it's very doable to ledge from in general. Even with like the perfect timing that you might need uh, for some follow-ups to be true. Um, but with Mario, you can just run off cape and he always helps to ledge. Hey, one I'm from Wales. Did you see the stage where they go? Uh, I didn't. Oh, oh, oh Bastion. Not, not a Bastion. It's kind of scary, honestly, because it's one of Mario's new best stages, in my opinion. It's even lower than small battlefield when you look at the hit from platform to top last zone. And it's also really small, so 
with Mario's speed and you get to corner at once, you can't really um, get out of the corner because there's this big platform similar to Smash Bros in the middle and Mario's camping underneath it, you can't really go around him, right? And as soon as you go above him, he can basically kill you with free up airs and up B. So not the counter pick I would have expected. But let's see what Fraser's plan is here. I mean, obviously in small stages you can get very nice ledge shift situations because you're hitting the ledge really fast, right? And Peach is also not a slouch when it comes to ledge shifting with the turn if she has time to pull in one. Very nice turnaround shield there from Fraser, from Baxter. <laughs> Getting the back up on the after well across the shield. Okay, turn ups all around, very nice. No take not ready for attack. It does look very well so far. Fraser taking the first stock only with almost 80% and getting getting some percent on the right now. And keeping out much better here. Both players playing kind of careful here, very, a lot of back dashes and poking aerials, and now they keep mixing up Fraser's Rex's controls and enable the whale to get into And now going for a real, I don't know, I'm not sure if it was a real ledge trump, but um, didn't get the kill this time. Yeah, I mean, it was a trump, but um, the timing was a bit off, it was not instant, so. Back for killing at 180 here. Two stock, two stocks in peace now. Nice. Um, this time around, Rex is actually with the lead, let's see if he does this. Um, now he doesn't have to approach and that's, you know, as we said, kind of features strength, just keeping them all out, with punishing them. And that's a game plan that if he follows it, which could lead to a lot of success. And so now he's he's keeping while in the corner again. Uh, now he did it out and uh, immediately keeps it up. The side view was a little bit off, I feel like. And that was a nice but coverage, but again it didn't get the stage under this huge platform. Very important on the stage. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and that's the way it's classic. The jab block with the fireball. The Getting fireball. the kill at 70%. Very early here. The last shot. But he can get the kill. First he can get the kill with one forward air, up air. Might, it be, might even the back air. The last shot. Oh, so the Brexit air is just evaporated. The double up smash from Barrio. Kind of interesting, <laughs> but didn't get punished. So oh, that's again. All in my oh, that hurts! That hurts! That shouldn't be enough. Yeah. Oh, that was very close, actually. And well, still only took eight percent damage oh, so far. Now going to get out. Okay. <laughs> nice grab from Well, sliding <laughs> <down below. laughs> Almost. Oh, no, 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 no. No jumping Peach, but I'm not sure if... Oh, that was a nice anti smash. Yeah, I feel like ledge jump is very risky anyways, because of her floatiness. I agree.